Jason Wallace, who according to recent testimony has been fingered as the true assailant in John Hartman's 1997 murder, was granted immunity by the Attorney General. Why isn't this information or possible information necessary to the administration of criminal justice in this case? Isn't the whole purpose that we're here is to engage in a proceeding that that aids in determining whether or not the state of Alaska properly convicted four people of murder and assault. But during yesterday afternoon's proceedings, the petitioners argued that immunity shouldn't be granted. They can present all the evidence that they and would why like, can't but they grant immunity to the person who you claim committed this crime, because so that this court can hear from that person and determine for itself his credibility. Now the grant of immunity here. Why can't they do that? Those attorneys argued that there are dangers in granting Wallace immunity, including perjured statements favorable to the state's case. Wallace could come clean and confirm what Mr. Holmes and Mr. Davison have to say. Or Mr. Wallace could say, guess what? They set me up. They did something else. Um, I, he could say in a myriad of things. Now this morning, yet another expert testified for the petitioners. This time it was regarding a polygraph exam that was passed by Marvin Roberts. To pass the test, you have to have a positive six score or higher. And Mr. Roberts obtained a total score of positive 22. On cross-examination, the state attacked the veracity of the test, including pointing out what they called faulty equipment used to administer it. Doctor, there was only one respiration sensor attached, not two, as you've told us before. Isn't that true? At that moment in time, I, I'm looking at it, and I think I see the other respiration sensor on the arm of the chair. I'd, I'd have to review the entire video to see what that particular shot uh, means. Well, normally you would expect to see this kind of a thing. Normally, you would expect to see two black lines across the chest and abdomen of the person. Yes. And we only see one in the photograph of your test. Yes. Trial is set to continue tomorrow. This is Stephanie Woodard reporting.